Um, what directed you towards the sawmill business? Oh, I, I always was interested in sawmill. Oh, ever since I was a kid in school. Huh. You know, they used to, used to see the one-man sawmill advertised mm -hmm. for every magazine you pick up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the little bell saw. And I used to send the bell saw and get all their literature on sawmills and edgers and planers and, <laughs> and I didn't know most of those books all by heart. Did did you have a working mill someplace in your childhood that you visited or No, but I, I always was interested in woodworking of, of any kind. I, I don't re, I don't remember this many sawmills, not just. But I I learned a lot about sawmills before I before I ever had any practical experience with them at all. And and a lot of, a lot of little tips I picked up that came in handy after I got to mm -hmm. actually working at sawmill. So you could almost say that was like a lifelong calling then, really. The first, the first mill we had was the little bell saw. Now was that the one up? Was that Stone Mountain or was it Hadley Hill? That was, that was on Hadley Hill. Okay. Was that the one that was driven by a Buick engine? Yeah. Dad told a story about the that Buick engine, and I can't remember 20, what. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight Buick, straight eight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, we didn't have any radiator on that. We we used a, a fifty gallon drum for for radiator, and we just run that a few minutes, and that that the water in that drum would boil, <laughs> and the and the old exhaust on that on that engine would be just as red as the cherry. Mm. We run off a lot, and and after a while, I got to wondering how that how the spark was on that mm -hmm. anyway. And uh, I opened up the points and, and looked. And it was just barely breaking. It, they were almost touching. And I opened it, just opened the gap up a little. It run just nice. <laughs> <laughs>